I did the EPS conversion a couple years ago. I just haven't had the time to do a video on it. But after driving it since 2021, a couple years, it actually works pretty well. I wanted the car to maintain its factory appearance. Basically, I didn't want anyone to know I had an EPS column in. I removed the auto tilt column because I hated that thing. It would actually slam up in the air and break this bezel. So these things, I bought a couple of them from Toyota and they were not cheap. I still have one extra one, but it just, I just don't want them to break. So I used a column from a non-tilt Celica. So everything bolted right up. Everything works. I mean, the key man. The combination switch works. I don't have the wiper blades on right now, but wiper works. Left. Right. Since the factory evaporator core is still in position, the AC is still available. The duct work needed to stay. So the motor had to fit behind that and tucked up so that it would fit close as close to the body and the firewall as possible, which it does. There's no obstruction to the pedals, so everything is good to go. The control module is tucked in under here. I did not use any additional CAN input. It's running in default mode and it has plenty of assist. On highway, it's just enough assist. In parking situation, it's perfect. When I run the slicks, it's got plenty of assist. Also the benefit of removing the tilt steering wheel and the older electronic um, MR2 hydraulic power steering pump. Um, I saved about 10 or 15 pounds. I don't remember, but it's pretty, pretty so, substantial. Enjoy the vid. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. auto tilt shit's heavy as hell but um, still in almost brand new condition hardly any rust on it this is a junkyard donor and um, it's a direct replacement probably have to make a mount for my uh, cover right here this doesn't have it I'll just reuse my existing cover the cover that was on this car was a piece of shit just broken pieces but the tips from that to there, exact same length. So it's a direct replacement. Just gonna drill that off, get the new bolts, and put my uh, switch under the whole assembly. But here we go. This one, see ways, whoops. Turned off automatically. Zero. Oh. Ooh. Wow, that's right. Nine pounds. It's heavy. Fourteen pounds. Pretty crazy. And then the Electric steering column here. That's 11 pounds, so it'll probably be the same as the um, pump. I think the MR2 pump is part of its cast iron, plus the fluid and all those uh, heavy duty lines that I have, so I'll weigh everything when I'm done.
electric hydraulic power steering pump from an MR2 turbo that I removed from the car. This is the rack end of it. This is the pressure going in. This is return. Uh, those are different threads, you really can't mix them up. Starts at the reservoir. This is the suction side of the pump. Comes out, pressurizes it, goes through the frame, goes to the rack, then the return comes back, comes around, goes into the oil cooler, oil cooler returns it to the reservoir. This is a control. This is a solid state relay. Um, this input is from the battery. It's a Lions fuse battery, so 60 amp fuse. Um, this actually goes over here, which powers the other end. And then this is a PWM input to the solid state this variable speed. So I had it at zero miles an hour at 1500 RPM. I had assist basically shuts it off about 70 miles an hour it was PWM to 70 uh, this is the ground to the frame that's basically it Toyota fluid or equivalent is fine all right let's see what I took out I'm turn this on start with the hoses I uh, left about three feet of regular hose and high pressure hose so that's just about a pound Turn home brackets, nuts and bolts, and the solid state relay. Thirty pounds. Everything here. Okay, everything's cleaned up, ready for assembly. This is the conversion from a power assisted rack to a non assisted rack just want to go over a couple things the bushings here from Toyota are discontinued my chassis only has like 30,000 miles on it so they're pretty much in good shape probably find somewhere else to get them but for now let's put these back in the boots are in good shape they're still pliable now, these ports get plugged as well as these ports. This is the left and the right, left and right. We have pressure side, suction side, and that's basically it. It's all cleaned up, ready to go, like I said. This is the pinion shaft. Just welded it up. So there was movement, this would bottom out on either side. So as you turned it, it would actually have a little, basically flex to it. And part of, this is part of the valving, this internal valving. And there's an outer valving that goes with this ball bearings. But I'm gonna put this back in, it goes onto it like that. Pins actually go right into there and it takes a spring because the bearing it actually holds this bearing up otherwise there's a chance of that bearing falling down and dropping down the shaft and then i'd have to take it all apart again so at least the spring will keep tension on that make sure it doesn't pop out 
Then there's a bearing that goes on the bottom. This is the bottom right here. Actually, that's the top. This is the bottom right here. And uh, this bearing right here, just need to regrease it. That goes on it like that. This orientation right here. And that's basically it. So it's gonna fill these up with grease. Make sure it's well lubricated. That oil seal is in good shape. Basically brand new. Um, there's a seal in here as well. That's basically brand new. And then there's another seal on the inside, all the way down there. That's basically brand new. Well, in the butt to take out so I'm gonna leave it alone because it's on it gonna have grease in it there's not gonna be any more power steering fluid for it to leak so it's good to go everything is in good shape I can't wait to test it without the assist and with the assist because normally I, when you disconnect the power steering pump you still have pressure there's a Teflon o-ring that went on this so when you would turn it left or right it would pressurize either side so if there's fluid in it, it would create resistance, so it made it more difficult to turn the pinion. So, gonna test it all, see what happens. Well, this is it, all done. This is without assistance. Computer clicked. Works. Give it a few seconds. 